Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you guys, if you guys already, let me just let you guys know if y'all already saw this makeup, it's because I've already recorded this makeup tutorial here on the channel. It should be up before this video or this video before the other one, so whatever, vice versa. Just letting you guys know so you guys don't be like, she's wearing the same shirt and the worst same makeup, you know, okay? So this video is going to be a super fun video. I think it's fun since you guys did like my Real vs. Fake Peaches palette. So I come on here to show y'all today how... I am going to be comparing. Dun, dun, dun. If you guys want to know what palette, you guys probably already fucking know by the title. Excuse my French. Real vs. Fake Modern Red and Sons palette. So, this is the real on this side right here, and this will be the fake. I'll be leaving captions throughout the video because I don't even remember because I did do the swatches and everything else like a couple a week back ago, a couple days ago. So, yeah. So, right from the beginning, if you guys don't have both, you guys won't know the difference of the palette. So, if someone was to send you a fake palette, you wouldn't even know. So, make sure you guys just watch out. I know um, on my swap meet, they are selling fake palettes. Obviously, I know a fake palette when I see one because I review fake palettes. Well, it's just my second one, but I know how they look. So, yeah. Right off the back, when you pick up the real one, it is heavier than the fake one. And it's just more sturdy. Like, this one feels like a break and fall apart. But yeah, this one is just more sturdier and obviously so much, so much heavier and nicer than this one. So you guys can see the difference of these palettes right off the back. I think you guys can notice it. Let's just play I Spy. If you guys don't notice, I will let you guys know. So just look at them for a second. Hopefully they're focused because this camera doesn't have a viewfinder. And I ain't got time to be trying to set up a mirror behind everything I already have set up behind. So, I'll tell you guys. I'll let you guys know the difference. So, this little stamp of Anastasia Beverly Hills isn't in, is it on the real one. The real one just has this Anastasia Big Beverly Hills under it real small and the Modern Renaissance. Modern Renaissance here is just a matte white lettering. Well, as on this one, you have the stamp here. You can't feel really much the Anastasia print. And on this one, it's really engraved in there. So, and then on this one, they did like a metallic -y, um, I don't know what they did to this Modern Renaissance on here. It's like metallic, like it reflexes to you. As the real one, it obviously doesn't. The fake ones, this looks like a used, like, like it's like, you know the sponges you wash your dishes and it looks like the little holes in it? That's how this one looks. So, yeah, that's something else to watch out for. Um, the back of the labeling is the same, I did notice, and I watched a different review about this, um, and they don't notice a lot of things. They're just like, it looks exactly the same, don't waste your money on the real one. Those are the kind of reviews I've been watching, but I'm going to be straight up to the fuck, to the honest, you guys, as I can. If someone gives you guys a modern renaissance palette and you don't have the real one, you can't come to compare it to the big one, you won't notice it. But there's something every real modern real modern renaissance palette has. If you guys don't believe me, let me know. I will try to prove it to you guys in a little mini clip on my next video. My sister has two modern renaissance um, palettes. She's giving one away and then she has obviously the real one for her. So the real one has this engraved, which is E. 6JA, not all of them have that lettering, but it compares to the thing that it has on its box. So what palette goes to what box? And as you guys can see, let me put these down right here. This says EJAW. Is that what it said? Way off. E6JA right here. This little engrave right here. This number is engraved on the real palette right here. And you can even feel it. The engraved that it's engraved in there so that's basically everything I've noticed from here basically all they did was like just copy this and then just post it on here um, even the labels are kind of off if this looks kind of charcoal gray to so black this is fake because look obviously you can tell the fake and the real apart and the real one is just smaller and more like sturdier so let me see Actually, let me get my sister's one of Renaissance class so I can prove to you guys. Oh, can I buy your brown Renaissance book to show them something? Yeah. To show the lady in the back. This 
one's my sister's. This one's mine. Hers is way dirtier because she probably uses it way more than I use it. Yes, she does. Okay. These two have the engraved, engraved in there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hope you guys saw it. But same thing goes for she even has her name on hers. Same thing goes for the boxes. The both numbers are on there. So yeah, you guys can see that. that I am a bomb ass reviewer. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So that's one thing to watch out for the back of it. Fake one doesn't have no engraved in it. None whatsoever because it's vague. This is I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys think for a little bit. found two names spelled wrong on this. There's probably another one but I'm not. Let me just go ahead and see that. Bar. Okay. Burnt orange. Raw. Temper. Okay. I found two names spelled wrong on here. This says head ocher. Ochre. Head. It's called red ochre. That red doesn't even look like the red. And the eyeshadow sizes on here is so, so much smaller than the real one. And we're going to go over here. This says red ochre, not head ochre. And then the one that's spelled wrong on the other one is right here is real, real, legar, real guard. Real guard. Shit. What the 
talking about okay, like, real gar right here each other um one thing to for reals for reals to notice the which ones are real and the fake this eyeshadow shouldn't be yellow that's it that gives the palette away the eyeshadow should not be yellow this one right here all right so let me put on side by side Ooh, girl, a little play. that's the side by side you guys another thing to notice there's so much differences you have to take your time to see if you have a real palette or not. Is this stamp. You know, sorry you guys blinding out. Is that stamp? Basically that's the differences I've noticed on these palettes. I'll be really mad if I'm not freaking recording. My camera has been acting up y'all. So let me check. Alright, let's move on to the boxes and put the palette back in the box. Fake palette and real palette in their boxes. Because they're going to go put away after this. Okay. Fake box on top, real box on the bottom. This is how it looks. This shouldn't look blurry. You can be able... You should be able to see the difference in the readings and i think that's it that i've noticed on the boxes on the back everything's the same just this box is like a nudier pink and it's like a purple undertone pink switch them over and they look basically the same just the real one has modern renaissance way more prettier beautiful engraved in here so this looks just so much prettier beverly hills is together not separate so yeah that's all I've noticed and you can see the modern renaissance here is more bolder than the real one. These letters are bigger but these just look so like they have it matte and then they just put like plastic over it and the plastic is like a little bit over the modern renaissance like it's not exactly matching up to the lettering. So that's all I've noticed on here. So if you guys want to keep on watching, keep on watching to see the swatches and everything else. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!